we do change as we go along, they, they will have a different environment to work in. But I'm sure if you keep uh, solid boundaries and values, because values never change. So it's a matter of emphasizing values and with the technology, then they're not going to have uh, a different personality uh, from what we would have had 30, 40 years ago. And the family should have family values that are uh, universal and that are perpetual. The um, problem with uh, training in looking after children or any sort of educational field is that it can overtake your natural instincts towards parenting. And you have to realise that the natural instincts towards parenting as, are as important as what you've learned from books, really. I think it's wonderful to have a good attitude during pregnancy because I think it just brings um, happiness for everybody around you and it also helps you. I know during pregnancy hormones go up and down. Um, I think it's good to always talk to a doctor and make sure that they advise you to take vitamins to keep stable as possible. It's because the baby is not born as a, a, a clean slate. Whatever you do during your pregnancy can affect the baby. If you look at the child who's unborn, the, the, the sensory organ that develops first is the ear. So that child is constantly surrounded by sounds. The sound of the guts and the amniotic fluid and the mother's voice and the mother tongue, the voices from outside, the brothers and sisters' voices, the uncles and the aunts. So that child, the first thing that he stores in his brain, sound, frequency. Yes, the baby has already got certain ideas and whatever um, once it is born. Um, it gets clues from you about its world outside. Uh, when it's day or night, babies can see a light or, or you know, shades of very bright or dark. The child's going to hear the music that the parents are listening to anyway, going to hear the voices of the parents and the sound of the language of the parents. But um, music for a baby in utero, I think, is actually a, a quite beneficial to a baby because it's, it, it produces sounds that they wouldn't normally have in the everyday life of a parent. And later on, after birth, it's quite soothing for that child, I believe, to hear the music that it's heard in utero. It's like going back into the womb for a little, another little patch of safety.